How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Rule Breakers card. We have a 83 rated, def another defender, uh, Patrick Van Onhold. He has a nice looking upgrade on his card uh, and looks like to be, you know, one of the top fullbacks in the Prem and arguably from the Netherlands. Uh, you know, offers some very good links, of course, like the strong link to Virgil. Uh, and, you know, you have some very good Dutch players in this game. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a very nice boost. I'm actually quite surprised by how expensive this card actually is, and you know how he's held his price. Uh, he's around 150k on both consoles, so definitely something you want to consider before purchasing. Of course, ideally, uh, if you pack them, that would be you know really good. But uh, yeah, very expensive. Uh, there's a lot of huge unpopular, um, a bit of a split amongst the community on this card. Of course, uh, you know the passing being so low, the uh, work rates. I think it's like high low. Uh, so I will definitely, you know, talk about that and uh, hopefully I can help you guys uh, with your, I guess, choice of whether he suits your guys' team. So we'll get into his stats. I will start out with his pace. He's very quick. He feels rapid. You know, it's definitely a nice asset, of course, for your fullbacks to have that ma amount of pace running up and down the line, whether it be, uh, you know, recovering, playing defensively or, you know, making these attacking runs. So the pace is a great asset. You know, he's got 89 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. Uh, and then in terms of going forward, he's a very good attacking fullback, of course, having that high uh, attacking work rate, uh, 82 attack positioning, 84 shot power. You know, he's capable of, you know, not only scoring on his own, but creating chances. Uh, his crossing was quite inconsistent. It wasn't as bad as the, uh, you know, the stats suggests at 64. Uh, but, you know, he very inconsistent. You know, the, the low passing stats are... Uh, fairly noticeable i think it's more the composure if anything he's got very low composure at 71 so that definitely comes into hand but in terms of his playmaking abilities uh you know he was he's fairly decent you know i would definitely still boost it with a chemistry style uh but i don't think the passing is as bad as people suggest because you have players like wamba Saka who have i think have like you know 68 passing or nelson Semedo with 69 passing so uh, the passing isn't as bad as people make it to be and it doesn't kill the card at all uh, but yeah, still capable of, you know, creating chances on the on the attack. Uh, in terms of on-the-ball ability, you know, he's got 83 agility, 81 balance. He turns, you know, fairly well. Uh, and then he's got 79 reactions, which, you know, is all right. Uh, and then the 82 ball control and 81 dribbling. Uh, so, you know, he's relatively good on the ball. And, uh, you know, that's very important for your fullbacks. Uh, defensively, with the low work rates, uh, you'd expect him to, you know, be out of position a fair bit. But again, I didn't really find too much of a problem with the work rates. It wasn't really uh, noticeable. You know, he, he still positioned himself fairly well. And, uh, you know, he was aware of, you know, where he needed to be. So uh, he wasn't, I didn't really find him too far up the pitch. Like he would position himself deep uh, when he found like wingers running in behind him. So uh, again, the work rate's not that much of a problem. Uh, he does, of course, you know, as you'd expect, love getting forward though. So you can, of course, put him on stay back while attacking. But yeah, defensively, he's still very, you know, he's got those stats to back it up. Uh, you know, great tackler, 89 slide tackle, 88 stand tackle. And then uh, I think the 83 defensive awareness and 81 interceptions definitely helps as well. You know, reading the play and his awareness, like I said, his ability to read what is going on around him. Uh, and then physically, you know, he's got some decent stats here as well. Uh, 81 aggression, which is good. 86 stamina, which is important for a fullback running up and down that line. So, you know, he'll last the full game. And then 95 jumping, which could be pretty useful playing out of the back if you like to chip it out wide to your fullbacks and then head it. So uh, overall, I mean, it's a very well-rounded card. Uh, you know, he's got a, gr a lot of great traits. And the main cons that people suggested, like the work rates, the passing, I didn't find too much of an issue. Maybe the composure. But uh, overall, you know, very well-rounded, great attacking threat, and also very good on the defensive side. Would I spend that many coins? Probably not. I don't think it's worth it. I'd probably spend maybe like 60 to 70k max on this card. But... You know, overall, it's still a very good option and uh, definitely a viable a viable option. So that's going to be my review. Please like the video. Of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.